Welcome to another Keyshot 9 Quick Tip. In this video, I'll give you a basic overview of how to utilize the all new UV Unwrap tool using our Live Linked model from our Keyshot for SolidWorks Live Linking Quick Tip. If you'd like to learn more about Keyshot for SolidWorks, click on the link at the end of this video. In Keyshot 9 Pro, you now have the option to UV Unwrap in program. This feature is exceptionally useful for individuals using modeling software such as SOLIDWORKS that don't give you the option to unwrap your UVs within the program's UI. To get started, open the model you're working with in Keyshot and select the element of that model that you'd like to unwrap. Select the Tools icon from the ribbon at the top of the screen and select the Retessellate option from the secondary drop-down menu. At this point, your tessellation settings window will open, and your screen will appear black until you update your tessellation preview. To prep your model for unwrapping, simply adjust your tessellation quality to your desired number. I recommend starting with 0.2 to 0.3 and working your way up from there. Be sure to determine the right amount of tessellation required. If the tessellation quality is too high, then it will increase the likelihood that your UV direction guides will encounter discrepancies. If your tessellation quality is too low, you may find it difficult to create accurate seams. Once retessellated, I'll go ahead and split object surfaces to make unwrapping a little easier. I'll do this by right clicking the object I'd like to split and selecting the Split Object Surfaces option from the pop up menu. This will open the Split Object Surfaces window where we'll be able to select and split surfaces from the original object. Repeat this step as needed for each surface you'd like to split from your model. At this point, we now have our model prepped for UV unwrapping. To unwrap, select the surface you'd like to work with and either right-click to select UV unwrapping from the pop-up menu or select the Tools option from the ribbon at the top of your screen. Here you'll be able to open the UV unwrap workspace by selecting the Unwrap UV option from either location. With my top surface open, I'm going to set the direction I'd like my UVs to be oriented in by choosing the Set Direction Guide option selecting the points I would like to use to dictate my direction, and then clicking on the check mark when finished. I can then flood fill my surface, unwrap, and apply. I'll then open my side face, which I separated earlier, and repeat this process in a similar manner. However, in this instance, I'll need to create a seam to successfully unwrap my surface. To do this, I'll select the Add Seam option on the left side of the workspace and choose where I'd like my seam to be located. After I'm satisfied with my decision, I'll click on the check mark, set my direction guides, and then flood fill and unwrap my surface. Be sure to consider where your seam location is, as it's not always possible to make seams perfectly flush, but by strategically locating them, they will not be visible to the camera, and you can increase the ease in which you will be able to achieve visually seamless renders. Once my UVs have been set, I can map my desired textures to my object and make any final adjustments before letting my image res up to get a final preview of my scene. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. Let us know your thoughts on this feature in the comment section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.